Hi guys, I'm Maggie and today I'm going to watch Game of Thrones Season 8, Episode 5. So for further actions, you can check the links down below. I'm uploading their new Patreon. There is a full and cut version of their actions if you want to check them out. For last reactions, you can become a member in YouTube. And for my Instagram and for OnlyFans, you can again check the links down below. So yeah, I'm really not sure what's going to happen here and... Uh, What's going to happen with Daenerys because she was like angry, angry at the end of the previous episode. And I guess they're going to fight with Cersei now, right? Um, and I cannot believe that I have only this episode and one more and like, I'm done with Game of Thrones. Like, I really cannot believe that. I'm, I'm going to miss that. So yeah, hope you enjoy and without further ado, let's go. We'll try again this time. Is he... I think they're watching me. Is he trying to poison her and... Or kill her or... Or something like that? Of course they are. That's their job. He actually sounded in the previous episode like he's going to do something. There's something you need to know. Oh no, no! Someone has betrayed me. She knows? Jon Snow. She was expecting it. Oh, this is so sad. Like, she's expecting everyone to... He knows the truth about John. Yeah. He does. Oh, she... Because you told him. I've never seen her like that. Why do you think Sansa told you? What do you think she hoped to gain? She trusts me. I feel like she, she was wanting she exactly that. She trusted you to spread secrets oh my that God. could destroy your own queen. Look at her face, like... And you did not let her down. She, she completely you, doesn't trust Forgive anyone me. anymore. No! Oh no, they're like... Is she going to kill him? For treason? Goodbye, old friend. Oh, they were like friends and... Tyrion was the one that... told her. Oh, oh, she's going to burn him. Oh my god. She told him, like she told him that she's going to burn him if... If he betrays her. And now she's Good doing heart. that. Like without any emotion, she just burned him. She betrayed your trust. She killed Varys as much as I did. Oh. This is a victory for oh. her. Now she knows what happens when like people Like, how is he supposed you. not to tell anyone? Far more people this is not John. love you than love me. Oh, she I needs love. You. I feel like Daenerys really needs to I feel love, love and that people support her. You will always be my queen. John is so loyal. Is that all I am to you? Your queen. Yeah. She really needs love. Like... He let her go. All right then. Everyone is like leaving her and... I don't be fear. Oh no! Tonight you sail for King's Landing to join the Northern Armies. Cersei's followers will abandon her if they know the war is lost. Give them that chance. 
If the city surrenders, they will ring the bells and raise the gates. Yeah, please. please. Hear them ringing the bells. There is like so many innocent people over there. You want to. You want to rule them. You want to be Wait different. The city. You'll know when it's time. Hey, yo. <laughs> Where are you going? <gasps> They're here. I'm Ayasa. Right? I'm going to kill Queen Cersei. That that was very like straightforward. Think about it. She kills Cersei. The war's over. There won't be a siege. Yeah, I actually, like it's going tomorrow. to be very simple if just Arya goes, sneaks out, and kills Cersei. To to my captain. The war is oh, going to end, and how did they find you? <laughs> oh. This golden hint is... Did you consider taking it off? Cersei once called me the stupidest Lannister. And you're going back to her. Ouch. To die with her. Yeah. You've underestimated her before. She's going to die. Unless you can convince her to change her... I was so action. much hoping that he's not yeah. going to go back to Cersei. Escape. The two of you together. Oh, well, he's going. To, he's we're trying to, to save his family. Take her down there. Keep following the stairways down, down as far as they'll go. You'll come out onto a beach at the foot of the keep. A dinghy will be waiting for you. He's trying Sail to bay. help his family, kind, even. Make it to Pentos. Start a new life. But I'm not sure that, like, Cersei is not going to yeah, give man. up like that. She's not going to listen to anyone. If it works, give the order to ring all the bells in King's Landing and open the gates. Mm. That will be our signal that the city has surrendered. I'll try. You were the only one. We didn't treat me like a monster. Well, we have a very important mission here to kill Cersei in, in the war. Oh, they closed the gate. Can you imagine what it feels like for these people? But they have scorpions, like they have scorpions and she's surrounded with ships. You're going to kill her. Or kill the dragon. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, you have oof, problems. Oh my god, she just, she just destroyed them so easy, like, like that. Oh, yeah. Wow. She just she just destroyed everything there. Oh this is <laughs> Wow Oh my god Oh the poor horse I feel like she just killed how of uh, Cersei's army? With one dragon. Oh god. Oh! Mm. 
Yeah. He didn't stand a chance. Wow. They're like wiping them off like they're nothing. Especially like Daenerys. I didn't expect that. Wow. She has to surrender. Like, she has to surrender. Uh, I just changed my mind. They just destroyed, like, the whole army. Euron killed one of her dragons. He can kill another. Your grace, the Iron Fist uh, is burning. Yeah. The gates have been breached. The, the cult and company. Our men will fight harder than swords ever could. Are you serious? Just... They will defend their queen to the last man. Yes, Your Grace. The Red Keep has never fallen. It won't fall today. You're literally losing and you're continuing and more people are going to be killed. Just surrender. Surrender. Please. Please. They're surrendering. If Cersei doesn't want to surrender, these people doesn't want to fight. They know that they're going to lose their lives. Like, she's ready to kill you. Just, just ring the bells. Come on! Okay, they officially surrendered and now, now we can take the city, arrest Cersei and... Oh no, no, they surrendered, come on! Just end the war! She's going, she's going for Cersei. She's going to kill Cersei, right? But there is like people around her. What? What are you doing? She's killing... She's killing the innocent people! Come on! supposed to happen like they surrendered don't kill them this was not supposed to happen like they surrendered we could end the war here we can end everything and take the castle and just What is she doing? Why? Like she's destroying everything. She's destroying the innocent people. They're, they're killing the innocent people. Oh, the child.
This is such a mess. Why? Why? John cannot believe that this is happening. Same. This was not supposed to happen. They surrendered. Those are innocent people here. This is cool. She's destroying everything. Please stop. Why? You're supposed to rule them. Not kill them. Are you crazy? Like, we have work here. Just leave him alone. If you kill another king before you die, they'll sing about you forever. You know, king. Oh, but I am. And I fuck the queen. If I win, I'll bring your head to Cersei so you can kiss her. One last time. Cersei's alive until then. Yeah. All these people, stop! Why is he even here? Come on! Is he going to kill Jamie here? I'm just no he's not supposed to die like that he cannot die like that no like there is no way that you're going to Win here, just the whole city is burning, like the whole city. Why? Why? Yeah, kill him. Another king for you. He's scary. Sir Gregor, I command you. Obey your queen, Sir Gregor. He he just killed his creator. Does he still understand that this is his brother? This is the mountain. emotions she's realizing that she's going to die and it's finally breaking her well like he he's already dead like this is not going to work with him. 
He's like Frankenstein. Aria. <laughs> Oh no, no, he cannot kill him, come on! He has to win! Oh, come on! He cannot kill him, come on! In the head! What an end. They ended up with fire and... And they had such a good intention. <laughs> Everything is burning. Everyone is dead. Aria? Please? Aria! Come on, get out of there, come on! All these ashes. Aria, please! Please run from there, just... She, the nearest is destroying everything that she wanted. Everything that she, she worked for and... She destroyed everything. And all the innocent people she wanted to protect and... Come on, Aria. Saved her. And he went back to her and he's trying to help her again after everything that he went through. They cannot leave. Oh, they're trapped. They're trapped here. I want our baby to live. Oh my god, she's... She's really I pregnant. I want our baby to live. Don't let me die, Jake. Please don't let me die. Please don't oh. let me die. Oh, it's finally, it's finally hitting her that she's going to die. And she has emotions. Some people, some people doesn't change. And he wanted to die in the arms of the, the woman that he loves. After all, <laughs> Daenerys is 
became the queen of the ashes. There is literally only ashes left. Ariel and only one white horse, the only ones that survived. All of these innocent people. <laughs> this is so tragic. After all, the nearest really destroyed everything and like there is nothing left for her to rule. She snapped and she just killed everyone and she was supposed to be different. She was supposed to be their protector. <laughs> queen, queen of the ashes, yeah, yeah. I actually don't know what to say here. This was brutal. I think it was even worse than fighting with the Night King because so many innocent people died for nothing. They surrendered. Like, what is she supposed to rule now? She wanted to build a better world. She wanted to be different. Uh... Like she finally snapped, she finally snapped and let her emotions go and she wiped up all the city with all of the innocent people inside it and like she was always trying to protect the innocent, the weak, uh, this is who she is, like this is her character, she was always trying to protect them and I actually thought that she's going to, you know, go there and kill Cersei, destroy the castle. But she started burning innocent people. And this is actually very sad because people was always afraid of her. So, you know, to not be like her father. And after all, she became like she snapped and she killed all of these innocent people. I don't know. You know, Daenerys always had it in her. Like, you could see it in some of the episodes and in the seasons, in the previous seasons. She always had it in her, that, that part of her, like the Mad King. But she was holding it back, I guess. And sometimes you can actually see it. And until now... Her advisors and the people around her, I feel like they were holding her back. The These impulses, these uh, bad impulses in her, they were holding her back. And they were protecting the... Uh, and yeah, and she was protected from them. But now, because she lost everything and she felt like she cannot believe in anyone. There was no love for her. Even like John uh, pushed her away. And I feel like this was the part where she completely snapped and it was like she was she turned off her all of her emotions. <sighs> and this was terrifying. Like you could see in this episode actually, you could see how horrible the war actually is and how so many innocent people die. And now what? Like she's going to be the queen of the ashes after all. And you could actually see the horror in um, in John's face when he was seeing what is happening around him and he could do like nothing. He could do nothing about it. Like she was just destroying 
everything. Yeah. Aria didn't go there on time. Even though I, I think even if Aria killed Cersei, maybe it wouldn't really matter because Daenerys just snapped. <sighs> they surrendered. They really surrendered. I'm I'm just trying to think what I'm going to say here, but I'm just losing my words and my thoughts. And uh, the two brothers fought fought with each other, uh, finally. And I feel like it's you know the the death is very suitable for them dying with fire, the fire that actually started it all. Um, and I really like the conversation between Arya and the Hound because uh, he was telling her to let go of her hate. Uh, it's going to destroy her and not to be like him and just to continue living. And I really like that they had this connection going on here and they had this conversation. And for Arya, you could actually see in her face while she was looking at all of the dead people around her and the city burning and being destroyed, you could actually see that she was terrified. And I cannot remember the last time that I saw her like that, we can, which can only show us how horrible all of that actually is. Uh, for, for Jamie, well, he went back to Cersei, like he went back and he ended up in the same place that he started. I was just hoping that he's going to change, but like, I guess some people never change. And he, he really died in the arms of the woman that he loves, like he wanted. Uh, for Cersei, I actually never imagined the way that she's going to die. At one point, I was thinking maybe Jamie is going to kill her, but this didn't happen. And like the way that she died here, you could actually see that she had emotions. She was afraid. She was crying. And after all, like she's only human and she died like a real human. Like you could actually see her emotions. Wow. I'm I'm still I'm still processing what happened in this episode and I'm not sure what's going to happen in the next episode because this actually feels like the the final of the season and after that it feels like there is going to be another one. So I'm not sure how they're going to just wrap everything up here with only one episode left. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and there was this uh, sentence that they were telling, um, something along the lines, uh, the world is going to end with fire or ice, and I guess it's going to end with fire and Daenerys and the dragon burning everything. But yeah, I'm really not sure what's going to happen in the next episode. I, I don't know how they're going to wrap everything up here, seriously. <laughs> I guess I'm going to see. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm leaving some things behind, but there is like a lot, a lot going on here. And yeah, hope you enjoy and please, please don't fight in the comment section, like, please. <laughs> so yeah, bye and uh, see you next time.